I'm recording this because I'll probably go pretty fast. Um, so I know you guys have been taught to a lot. So, anyways, <clears throat> um, this is this is like a basic setup of like what I do. Some of the time saving things. Um, if you don't know, when you come in here, is to sort everything by topic. So like create your topic. Uh, one of the big time saving things that I have is my absent topic. So they come in, they miss, they can click on absent. And then basically, you know, if we're working on a project, all right, um, everything that I do, we tape. So they, they know what questions they missed. Everything's, you know, um, they come in, they click, they put the headphones on. All right. And instead of typing that day, they got a two minute video today of what we, we missed. Today we are finishing up our Nearpod lesson. So I don't have time to meet with every kid. Um, and it's kind of distracting because I got to move. So the biggest thing is when you create something in Google, Classroom, the best thing you can do for yourself is organize it by topic. Also, when you make videos, and you you don't have to choose all students. Like if you have an intervention video, uh, a video that you created, you could just choose those three kids and then post it to their Google Classroom. So you could put that under an intervention um, tab as well. But <clears throat> I don't know if this is new to you guys, if you know this or whatever, but um, when you're in Google, you have a Chrome setting, all right? So like if you're in Chrome and you go to settings and you're signed in to your Chrome, like I'm signed into my Chrome, you can easily go to the App Store, all right? And that's how you get into your Chrome. Mine's custom, obviously. In the Web Store, over here on the top left, like I said, I'm going fast, but I'm also taping this. I can send this out if you're interested in it. You have Screencastify you would add it to your Chrome. So this is an extension. You see my extension tabs right up here. Um, basically, when I'm in my classroom, all I have to do to take my lesson, like if I'm doing a Nearpod lesson, all right, my kids come in today, they missed yesterday, they click on Nearpod, all right, we're going through, I recorded a Nearpod lesson that we did yesterday. So how do you judge? All right, they missed. There's a Nearpod lesson under absent. Well, Screencastify is right here. So I can click on Screencastify, all right? This is free, up to 10 minutes to record your voice. Um, if you wanna pay 20 bucks, I think it goes, you get editing, you get um, anything you necessarily want to have, all right? You can easily record. And the best thing about Screencastify is when I hit record, it's gonna ask me, do I wanna do the entire screen, just your application window? You hit share. Three, count two, you down. One. Now I'm recording my voice. I can record everything on my screen. If I have a hiccup, somebody answers my door, I can pause it. Everything goes back to my tab. So now if I'm doing a math problem or whatever, <clears throat> somebody opens my door, I can you know, resume. All right, it's still counting down. You guys get the basis of recording. All right, so when I'm done, I hit end. It takes me here. Now I'm recording my voice. All right, I rename it. Up top is Wednesday. Well, I have a microphone linked in. You can. Okay. Yeah. I have one linked in, and Whitey's can get you guys that if you're interested. But, you know, there's also a default mic, I think, on the computer as well. Yeah, those headphones, that's what Paul uses. Okay. So basically, I got my lesson recorded. I'm almost done. All right. I got my lesson recorded. It's there. Now look, it uploaded automatically. You might be like, how in the heck are you supposed to organize that crap? You know, well, it's linked to your Google Drive, okay? It's linked to your Google Drive. So when I when I click on my Google Drive, all right, it, it's there. So if I go into, you know, my drive, and I got a lot of stuff in the drive, obviously, but when I, it creates a Screencastify folder, all right? So it's automatically organized here, all right? It's automatically organizes it automatically there for you to go back and see what you taught on that lesson um, and then like I said if somebody misses or somebody's new it really helps you out because it catches them up during flash time you send them that video you know you gotta watch this video boom and then you know your interventions whatever you want to do it organizes it and it can save you a lot of time with your absent topic too so it's just an idea like I said